We begin tonight with one of the starkest consequences yet for Canada of Donald Trump's vision for America, and it's playing out inside a 40-year-old sports stadium. Montreal's Big O can hold 56,000 spectators. Tonight, it's housing hundreds of asylum seekers, most from Haiti, who arrived from the U.S. before a new immigration crackdown. More than 3,000 have crossed into Quebec so far this year. That's 77% of all illegal border crossings into Canada. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin has the latest. The stadium built to host the 1976 Olympics is now a refugee camp of sorts. Asylum seekers, children and adults arrive by the busload today. Oh, oui, je, je me sens vraiment bien au Canada. I feel very good being in Canada, he says. It's very peaceful. And for now, home is this. Army cots aligned in the concrete windowless atrium, concession stands providing food, the showers in old baseball locker rooms. It's a temporary shelter to accommodate those crossing illegally from the U.S. Would-be refugees are now lining up to enter Canada. Guards had to clear 500 in just one day yesterday and have set up temporary offices to deal with the surge. So it's a unique situation. Over the last week and a half, uh, the, the numbers have dramatically in increased. Most are Haitians pushed out of their homes by the devastating earthquake of 2010. The disaster killed over 200,000 people and destroyed the homes and livelihoods of countless others. Some survivors sought to build a new life in the U.S. Approximately 58,000 were granted what's called temporary protected status. But the Trump administration plans to scrap that and begin deportations back to Haiti in January. These are people who've worked here, paid taxes, uh, have families here. And today the president announced he backs a new bill that would cut legal immigration by half within a decade. This competitive application process will favor applicants who can speak English, financially support themselves and their families. All that prompting many to head north. And word has spread Montreal with its thriving and large Haitian community could be a welcoming new home. The asylum seekers face immigration hearings and it's really not clear just how many will be allowed to stay. But the surge has strained resources both at the border and at welcome centers.